Hello, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Hello, uncle. Yes. Looks real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All right, where do we actually have missions? We have one mission here. Thomas Downs, and then we have Mary Linton, which we got from the... Hey, Arthur. From the letter. Hello, Hosea. Let's go hunting. Jose. You wanna go hunting? Yes. What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. All right. Oh my God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. All right. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> Uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, okay, boy. Yeah, good boy. All right, boy. Stables are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going out to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. 
You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Uh, let's sell him, why not? This doesn't seem very fast. I would like something that's actually faster. What is this one? Is that what it's telling me to buy? I guess that's why it's free, right? It seems really fucking good. Like this, this guy has really good cores, but this can still be improved. This horse, right? So let's go with the thoroughbred. I am. And let's just call him Happy. All right, tech and services. We can improve him. Okay, equipment, saddles. Repurchase saddles. Oh, I mean, oh, so it changes the uh, drain rate if you buy different ones. So this one is 14%. 14, 16, 16, and this is 12, 12, but the drain rate is 25 minus. This one doesn't have that. Yeah, I'll just keep this saddle, honestly. Saddlebags. We have the stock one. This doesn't give you anything, so it's not worth. Stirrups. So we have this one has the best rating, but there's one that costs only $36 and reduces drain rate by 50%. I think that's worth buying. Horns don't do anything. So that's not worth. Actually, it's, we have this one unlocked if I wanted to, but no, nah, let's keep this one. Blankets. Doesn't do anything. Bed rolls. Also doesn't do anything. Appearance. Can we change him? I mean, it's kind of cheap. I'll just keep it natural though. Same with the tail. Fine. Services. Let's go, uh, let's do the course package. And I also wanted to rename him, let's call him Sonic. Because he's fast. There we go. Cool, let's go. And this is the one... Right. Alright, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll sure, see. but we'll need to increase the bonding. Easy. Let's go, girl. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountain? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. 
Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Let's loop around the other side. Well, at least Sean made it back. And how he's enjoyed his hero's return. Yeah, he'll still be celebrating a month from now. So how bad was it? Blackwater, I mean. Yeah, pretty bad. Swarming with Pinkertons. No way we're getting back in there anytime soon. Well... Let's just hope they don't find that money. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. We'll try and shoot one. All right. We don't want to eat. Is anything too powerful on a small animal like that? It just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Go! Not gonna scan it yet. I'm just gonna take the whole thing. Good job. All right. Getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Yep. And you get a set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, uh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. 
Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. And a lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Okay, let's go. All right, let's actually get weapons that are going to be useful for fighting him. So definitely the repeater, I think. And the double barrel shotgun should also be useful. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? No, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out and staying in. It's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Hold. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. some paw marks here, Hosea. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's... It's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. The tracks go into those trees. eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything out. Something else on the ground. Just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Uh, let's use bait. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it.
thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, well, I'm gonna stay. You coming? I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> I'll see you back at camp. Yeah. Where are you at, Mr. Bear? Okay, let me check the map.
Let's see what we got. Looks away. Oh. I think this will do more damage than... That's a big one. Guess I can't do anything with that. All right. Yeah. And where are we gone? Okay, so it shows on the map that it's there. When it has like a crown on it, it means you can hunt those legendary beasts. All right, let's travel here to Butcher. Mr.
Trust your gut, folks. Step right up. Welcome back. Oh, he cannot accept it? So wh what do I do with it? you need have a look righty let's see what you're selling some of the fellers who play poker down at flat next station said they had some clergyman in drunk out of his mind i think we need to go to the camp and sell it there i think that's the case all right that's fine we can go back to camp Because there, I saw the option of donating. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. What did I want? You wanted money. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. But there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Okay. Looks like this is not where you use it. Okay, that's not good. Just remember, my items are one of a kind, Mr. Morgan. Uh, where do I sell these?
it's a stable. That's the photography. Can I do something? Can I just I drop I it here? Get my hands on some materials first. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Ooh, Doesn't even allow me to drop it. That is what I like to see. Can I just put it on different horse? Okay, it will be left here, cool. And it has an icon as well. Hey, listen. Try not to get too bogged down in all this. You got your whole life ahead of you. What do you mean? Just that this life will wear you quick if you ain't careful. All right, we'll figure out later. Let's go for Mary Linton. Yep. Yeah. I mean, if I can't craft that outfit, it's whatever. It's not like you can see it in first person anyways. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Um, is um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton, a collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. 
Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Let's help her. It's Where a free quest. It? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll never you. not bring him back. If I don't have to. You already owe me. Oh, let's play Skyrim for a second. Alright, whatever. Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Chelonianism, no less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Uh, safety? Safety and, and meaning? Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! Jamie, just hold up a minute. I don't have to answer to you. Sorry. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yep. Just stop and let's talk about this. This is none of your damn business. Jamie, your sister's worried about you. I was doing just fine by myself. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. I was running the fast as I could. Maybe I can shoot his horse. Yeah. 
They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Damn it, we got to do this the hard way. This is none of your damn business. Just stop and let's talk about this. You pop up out of nowhere? Yeah. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. No, he didn't get away. Come on. Fine. I'll be following him, but yeah. I got too far, maybe that's why it failed first time. Come on, Jamie, your sister's worried about you. You pop up out of nowhere? Sorry. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. Just Oh my god. What oh, is happening? No, I'm not skipping checkpoints. Game. I didn't ask for your help. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. This is none of your damn business. Sorry. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Uh, for Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. You pop up out of nowhere? Go, go. Yeah, there we go. Hey, you're okay, girl. Just stop and let's talk about this. I don't have to answer to you. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Yeah. I was doing just fine by myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These little jackets. Sorry, mister. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Yeah. What are you doing? Boom! Oh Boom! Yeah! I don't know why it failed the first time. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. 
Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Sabonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take you anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. It's a little key. I'm gonna knock my no out of this blockhead of his someday. Well, God huh. damn. Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Alright, another mission. Wait, we had a mission here, it's gone now. That's weird. Well, if it is, then that's sad. There's not much I can do about it. Is it really gone? Mm. Yeah, I don't see it. Or maybe it only appears if we are closer.
Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, <coughs> I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. That debt weighs on me heavily. It's going to be paid. Really? Certainly, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. All right. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm, 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 do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please, show some compassion. Please. Strauss told me you needed a beat. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more. Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. So, you met Sean? Not really, but I've heard him. Yeah, he ain't the retiring type. Are you being good? Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Alright, no more missions that I can see. Time to start the next one. something about a train <sighs> what did he say mary beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through scarlet meadows just south of state border yes you need help with it i ain't even sure about doing it come on at night not too guarded it's perfect nah, i ain't thought it through <laughs> you know stopping a train pain in the ass sure but what if we could force a train to stop well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. If they see it, if they know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. 
I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Never easy, leaving the fire. You want to join us, Arthur? Hi there. Hello. Not the test mission. Micah. We can do that later. Yeah. To shoot him, but hey, you're somewhere you shouldn't be. Calm down. I think this I think is. You'll be leaving now. Yeah, I'm leaving. Hi. of people. Why a trigger that? Like I try to be quiet, but it still didn't work the way I wanted.
pressing control to crouch, not to turn around, game. Is alive. Okay. okay. Pick up. I don't have a horse, but there's saddles. Maybe I can get a horse here. Let's go, John.
Yeah. Yeah. I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> Abigail. All right. Arthur, come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please? <laughs> okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Come on, girl. Sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though so your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Oh, 
first. We need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Whoop, think I got one. I see. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. See that cast, Jack? I'm gonna try my luck over there. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. I think you've got a bite. Look. Got one, Jack. Is it a big one? Well, this is clearly the spot for bluegill. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Go. Pull him in. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? 
For me? Gonna turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us, to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> Boys get known. Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? Huh. <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Oh, the quest is back. Cool. Um...
John Marston. Oh yeah, that's the train. What is this for? New business opportunity. Okay, I wanna do this before it disappears again. Yes, I do, but that's for me, not for you. Yeah. Forest fire. Let's go around. How the hell do I get up there? Oh, that works. Where the fuck is he? Is down here. Yeah. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, dear? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. 
What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends? Drink here, drink there? What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now. And you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. All right, this is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. He should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah. your face covered now it's just you and me sweetheart i'll give it to them they put up half a fight at least yeah hey luck come on boy mm. here find new rifle too here you go arthur from me to you that's more your style than mine What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break Ooh, a it open fork and here bullets. And be done with it. Could nice. be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. 
Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this haul back in one piece. Is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. After I loot everyone. Okay, the other two are too deep. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, that should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth it. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls. And a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Nice, we got money again. Girl. There's a witness? Yep. Oh, fuck it. Can't do much. Why is it locked again? Whatever. 
We need to go back to the city. Doesn't show any quest because of the murder. Now, come on. Better things to do than spill secrets. There we go. No, come on, don't hey, move it. Well, I'll know where to find you. And who the fuck managed to report the crime? Have something for that eye. So, or is it? Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. So what you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. If you manage to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Now, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. There's... Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boy. This hungry boys. Come on. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. 
Stay still, my beauties. of modern technology. On the other hand, looks like... It's a you! You want it, Wolves? You got Please Wolves, go. Mr. Mason! It's Do nothing dumb. This is a fool of an idea, I tell you. Is that all of them? We might have kept the Wolves. Oh, oh my God. I... Oh, futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. The only trophy I need is a photograph. And I hope it catches on. I wonder how many I can use. You're a collector of pelts. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self-defense. I was just checking this equipment if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. First I was scared of the wolves and now it's hydrophobia. I've got hydrophobia phobia. Perhaps a wildlife photographer needs steadier nerves. Or a longer tube for this shutter bulb. A much, much longer tube. And a cave to hide in with bars on the outside. I'll be some time. No, 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 no. I don't want to pick him up. Don't worry about me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place, and neither do wolves. <laughs> How much money I'll get from these wolf belts? fit the fifth one as well yeah it won't take long girl perfect Gone. I would say Valentine, sell it here, and then we can continue to. Yeah. Okay, girl. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there must be a better way. Yeah, like this.
Easy, girl. Want something What's from your me? Hello there. A lot of folk coming by with these. I expected way more dollars for this. Oh well. Thank you. Already dead like two episodes ago. Yep. I really need ammo for this one. I wish I could set it as default because I hate the fact that it keeps removing these items from my inventory.
interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I'd... Interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Partner. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Look where you're going. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yeah. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. Hold up a You better have a damn good reason for being here. Are you gonna ride with me now? So, you were saying? A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Oh, that must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. All right, what do we do? Are we going to tie up everyone in the farm and just steal Here's everything? I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. All right. OK. Let's take a quick look at the place. Oh. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Uh, let's do it now. Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house.
My good young man. Fairly well, fairly well. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. Just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? Great. Spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment. The Lord God Almighty, or whomever built it, put our brains in here, but our souls is in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky. Sure. I can fix that for you. Just tenor sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey is, whiskey is his cousin the problem. You ever meet a Scot who didn't hobble in old age? But the English stand tall, sir. Gin! They drink gin. And what is gin made with? Junipers. And what does the juniper do? Creates movement in the spine. With your whiskey made with grain as it is, it leads to spine brittle. Hence your hobbling chop. Please. Stay down here a little. Won't take long. I was worse than you, sir. I was broke. Look at me now. I dance every night. Women adore me. I got magic. Seriously, it's all about the spine. We think our brains is in our heads, but they are in our backs too. Oh. Oh. I can tell you're a very wise man, but the troubles, they're killing you. That's the spot. Oh, my head. I know it. Give me a minute, sir. You'll have to wait. Yeah. Is that better? Just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit better. You done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Get here. gonna crash if you don't slow down. Damn it, I think you should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Yeah. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. Take it easy, Arthur. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Hmm. Slow it down a bit. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. 
quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, no. Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> We're very close to the other mission, so... Wait, there are details? Let's see. Okay, I didn't loot everything. I didn't loot some stuff, so... And maybe had like this uh, hidden storage I didn't know about. Job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. Hey, slow down a bit. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. You're gonna run the horses to death. See, this is what I'm in. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. They're left here, towards roads. Down. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time playing sick. 
and fondling that new scar that you're gonna buy at breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Go easy on them horses, will you? Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody... Nobody gets hurt. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Hey. All right, get on that train. Bastard. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Oh. Oh. Everybody stay calm. Oh, sure. Sure. You get shot. Unnecessary. Please. Go. Please don't Everything go. you got. Money, valuable. Please, there you go. You're getting robbed, Let's mister. Let's make this quick, people. Everything you've got. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. Reach for your money. Nothing. Nothing there. Make me hurt you. Please, please. Pay me what you got, mister, and you won't get hurt. What's the problem here? Deal with these two, will you, Mr. M? Money. Hey, Please don't help me. Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay, okay, in the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to count. God damn it. Oh sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be Ladies over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robber. Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Great job. Tough guy, huh? You sure about Why that? Waste Quick, come on! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't make me hurt you. Money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Come on. You're better than this. Please. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Please don't help me. Okay. None of you folks. What is it? Money. You all right? You hear me? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. There's probably something in here, Arthur. Car. 
For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Little Irish shit, get up! Need some help here, boy? Where the fuck is he? What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Can you provide the cover? I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Some decent stuff. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. Are you doing me best, all right? I know, that's what's worrying me. We'll take that. All right, we should probably be going now. We're looking good in here. Come on, we should get out of here. These folks are rich, all right. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. All right, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Hey, there's a few more of them turning up. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. Come Shit, we got more on the left. Fire coming through the trees, you see him? Oh, I've had it with these bastards. Take him down. Come on! 
That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Got to be $100 here. Very nice. And you weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Let's take the train or something. Hello. Been a while since you were around this way. Run up the tab now, have we? All right, here. So, feeling better? How's the scarf? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... 
But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. Come on. This way. Let's go. Come on. So, what were you talking about before? We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Something to be said for consistency, I suppose. Well, the gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. I love how the long scope is just a big fucking scope. This doesn't change anything. Same with the wrap. This increases the range, but you don't really need that, to be honest. I don't know. Whatever, I don't need it. So let's just go like this. Sure. Right. Let's go. Been feeling like a grizzled heel. Mm. Life oh, ain't always I easy. Know. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we
we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. That's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. That ought to do it. Let's go round them up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Yeah. Shut, your ride. Shut your mouth. Sheep to me. You ride Shank. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. And the reason for that is it would not make sense because he learned how to hurt in Red Dead Redemption yeah. 1. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. 
Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seen better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. We're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Come on, my girl. <laughs> Watch out! Can't you control that damn horse? Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Meepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Vandalin! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you piece of trash you start spinning the yarn and when i think the moment's you right i'll make a move got where i am by letting Why not? Like you rob from me Vandalin, you're done now get out here now deal with this nonsense please gentlemen this is a terrible mistake this is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whoever he may be? Do that close. Push the 
Get us out of here. Come on, put Sprouts on the back of John's horse and let's get out of here. Arthur, you make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. So, we can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Alrighty. Well, this is a perfect stopping point. Yeah. Should shut up a town. We are ready to leave it. So yeah. I would just like to thank you all for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.